cross them through, beep, beep. No! Ow! Ow! I didn't see you. You should have yelled crossing. I'm sorry. Could you beat up Michael? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that would happen. Because we're friends. Because I would kick his ass. Well, that's a purple belt, so. So? I beat up black belts. Yeah. And how'd you know they were black belts? They told me after. See, I used to run with a very tough crowd, street fighter types. Real, real bad people. I'm just lucky I got out. Knock, knock. Who's there? Buddha. Buddha who? Buddha this bread for me, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> I got a knock, knock joke. No. OK. Oh God. Michael, please, 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 please. Oh please let me. All right. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? KGB. KGB. Ask the questions. What the hell was that? What are you doing? What are you what doing? Are you, hey, hey, you stop like it. That? Stop you it. Like hey, that? come on. What are you doing? Mine is part of a hilarious joke. Mine was retribution. What are you doing? No more knock knock jokes. That's it. Ding dong. Who's there? KGB. Try to get the door. I'm not answering the answer door. Ding door. dong. No way. It's yeah, the KGB. Ding dong. I'm not answering that. Yes, you're Ding going you to answer it. I'm not going to answer it. I'm not going to answer it. It's the KGB. Ding. The KGB will fit for no one. <laughs> It's true. Strike, scream, and run. All right, let's try it. Yeah! Oh. It may have been my fault. What the hell, Toby? Okay, look, in a real crisis situation, you're not gonna have time to think. Okay, so, so just remember, I-A-A-T-G. It's all about the groin. <laughs> Listen to me, Robert is going to veto the Sabre store. Jim, come on. Dwight, he's going to kill the store. Mm -hmm. And then I'm pretty sure he's going to fire you for it. So nice try, Jim. Your pranks have never worked in the past, and they're not going to work today. OK, first of all, they've mostly worked. You so... know what? You might want to get to the airport. It's going to take you a long time to get through security with all those beauty products. Bye. Nothing is going to stop me. That is the mark of a great man. Unstoppability. Dunder Mifflin, the farm, Moe's, all those things vanish in my rearview mirror. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with Destiny. And from what I hear, she's a... Oh! Do you want me to stop dating your mom? Is that how we're going to get past this? Because I will. Mm, yes. Well, that is not going to happen. Then why'd you even offer? Because I assumed that you want me to be happy. Because I want you to be happy. Michael, let me make this very easy for you. I could give a about your happiness. Stop dating my mother. You know what? I'm going to start dating her even harder. What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. And after that, nobody ever messed with the damn rascals ever again. Sounds tough. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way, right? You're a jet? Have you signed the expense reports yet? Yes, in theory I have. I just need to cross some T's and dot some I's. All right. I am going to be in my office if anybody needs me. Ooh, ha. Oh, oh my God. wow. Oh. Sleeper hold. That time for Bonzo. Come on. Oh, oh. Shh. Shh. oh. you are the weakest link. Oh. Guys, do I have to go over our policy on workplace violence? No. Yes. yes. No, yes. we're fine. You do. All right, Dunder Mifflin does not condone any activity whatsoever. We have a zero tolerance policy on anything that would endanger our employees. Do you understand? Fine. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Whatever. We get it. That's good. Totally. Right. Very clear. Crystal clear. Yep. Dwight? Yep. Trust you removed all your weapons from the office. Of course I did. I swear on my great aunt's grave. Come on! Come on out! I can't believe they're going to fight over me. I guess people have fewer choices as they get older. If Jim didn't want me to have a weapon, he would have gotten rid of all the bikes. Afraid of this? OK, well, I'll be in the back if you need me. Great. Thanks, Toby. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Toby. Uh, help! Help! <laughs> oh, Cross, don't lick my hand. God, why is there so much saliva? All I had to do was think about pie, and my salivary glands did the rest. Gross. Ah! What, 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 what? Oh, God! Jim! Oh, my appendix. I'm sorry. My wound hasn't so healed sorry. yet. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, I forgot. You all right? Oh. You okay? <laughs> oh, God. Michael, you have to put your hands down. All put right. your hands in your pocket. Okay. Pam, Pam. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. 
What are you sorry for? So many things. I don't know. It's hard to choose. How about for dating my mom? Maybe that's And it. dumping her on her birthday? Yeah. Yes. Don't ever date a member of my family again. Okay, I promise. For the record, your mom came on to me. <gasps> Holy crap. Are you okay? No. Hit me. You'll see. I can't. Because I uh, just got a manicure, so. Oh, queer. I, queer eye. That's a good show, important show. Go ahead, do it. Just have Dwight punch you. Oh, yeah. Well, that would be kind of worthless because I know a ton of 14-year-old girls are gonna kick his ass. You know a ton of 14-year-old girls? What belt are they? Look, Dwight is a wuss. When we rented Armageddon, no. he cried at the end of it. Michael, he did. I told you, that was because it was New Year's Eve and it started to snow at oh, exactly man. midnight. Bruce Willis, they're gonna leave him on the asteroid. Okay, <laughs> I'll punch you. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, come on, go! Fuck! Oh! Little things can be dangerous. Whether it's a gremlin or Chucky the doll, the key is to throw it in something, like a fireplace or a tub of electricity. Good point. Um, Good point? Here's... What is a tub of electricity? I don't, I don't... With all due respect, we know what we're defending against. It's a 12-year-old female bully. I was a 12-year-old bully. <laughs> Great! I think Kelly should attack Toby. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually, because I have had a lot of pent-up aggression. Oh. You think you're so pretty? Well, you're not gonna be so pretty come prom time! Okay, this is what's called pre-violent posture. Take that! Well, okay. well, not so pre-violent anymore! Okay, I'm at, so, I'm at what's called the decision point. So hey, I'm hey, hey, Kelly, I'm Kelly, come on out! Point. God, my good eye! <laughs> oh, boy. Come on! Hey. Has anything happened yet? Mm -hmm. It's 410. I don't think he's going to show. Oh, come on, man. Believe in something. Come on, coward! Ho, ho, ho! What are you doing? Uh, I'm just trying to go. Get up. OK, OK. Get up. <sighs> All right, I'm Fine. not going to let you by. Then you know what? I'm going to just have to run right through you. OK. What are you doing? Are you really revving up? You know that doesn't work. <laughs> Jackie Chan! What are you doing? Oh. No, no, no. This, no. And this is the end. Thunder slam! Oh. 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 Anything else you need to talk about? No. Nope. That was it. It's showtime. Ah. Go. Got you. Broken arm. Boom, boom, boom. Broken nose. Boom, boom, boom. Broken nose. Boom. Ah. Gonna flip you. Once a year, Dwight holds a seminar updating us on the newest developments in the world of karate. Because, as we all know, the one thing that thousand-year-old martial arts do all the time is change. How can I pose this to you in a relatable way? You are all members of the Yakuza, and you happen to be visiting the Lackawanna Trolley Museum, and you are attacked by triads. How can you hold them off until your clan arrives? You cannot go wrong with a throat punch. Good. Wow, it's actually pretty close, Excellent. right? Now watch, let me take you from behind. What? Watch out, Kelly. My sucker punch you. I didn't sucker punch you, Michael. No, really? In case you'd remember, I was defending my honor. Oh, is that like it? Like a samurai. Really? Yeah. Well, the offer, Dwight, was for one punch, which I absorbed. I had no idea that there'd be a second punch, so catch 22. Okay, fine. Tit for tit. Give it your best shot. Two punches. Go. Look, if we were in a bar right now, there would be two punches. Me punching you and you hitting the floor. No, I'd block your first punch, yeah. rendering you ineffective. Oh, really? Yeah. It's... You know what? You're just lucky that we're at work right now. Ooh, what about uh, Dwight's dojo? Michael. Hey, uh, Toby. Hey, you know what? Fights. I have an idea. Why don't you leave right now? Why don't you walk away from the room, OK? We'll go at lunch. Fight, 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 fight. I'm coming. Fight. With the count set up. Oh, my god. Is it in my eyeball? Yes. yes. I think he's burning my eye. Michael, do something. Sack up. You have to stop this. Luke, can I have that? No. Okay. I am going to count down from five. Five. five four, four. I'm not kidding. Three. three two, two. One. one. Give, okay. All right. Here we go. You are going to learn to be more professional, Luke. That's what you're going to do, Luke. What the hell was that? I had to do that. This. Screw it! All right, are we good? <laughs> You're okay. 
He's okay. There are many different schools of thought on capital punishment. That was awesome. What? On the desk of Andrew Bernard. Note. Pathetic. Dear Dwight, by now you have received my note. How are you? I am well. You are no doubt wondering why I have left this note. It's come to my attention that in any physical match with you, I would surely be bested. True. The soft underbelly of my refined upbringing is my soft underbelly. There's Andy. He's in his car. You guys, what is he doing? Why isn't Dwight turning around? The Prius is silent if he keeps it under five miles per hour. He deserves the win. Yeah. Alas, after much consideration and Oh my god. What's happening? Andy's running over Dwight with his car. Someone attack me. Kevin, go. No way. Last time you pulled my pants down and then you tried to choke me with my shoelace. False. I did choke you with your shoelace. Now come at me. Okay, with all due respect to everyone here, I think the most worthy opponent of you is you. That is correct. Unless there happen to be measles present. Yes, Andy. What if we changed our outgoing answering machine message so it just had a little more zing and a little more pep? Zing and pep. See, that's those are the kind of words we're looking for. Yes, Jim. What about if we did an even newer voicemail message that had even more zing and pep? Now we're cooking. I like this. Maybe a whole theme, like a rap, a rap rhyme. Like an urban thing. An urban, yeah. Stanley, you want to help us out with that? Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little Leave brain me alone, we're damn having it. a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? Good. This is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. Clean take Come on, do that man. again. Do that again. I dare you. Ah! Oh! Okay, bring. Ah! Oh, oh, you can't say! You can't say! One point! Two points! Three points! One point! Four points! I win! I win! Oh! Nine! 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 Eight points! Nine points! Stop it! No! Come on! Michael! Open your mouth! No, Michael! Every day for eight years, I have brought pepper spray into this office to protect myself and my fellow employees. And every day, for eight years, people have laughed at me. Hey, help her! Hey. Right! Ah! Right! Go! Ah! Ah! Well, ah. who's laughing now? You're firing me over three words. Did I stutter? Do you think I'm gonna let you do this to me? Hmm. I've watched you screw up this office for 10 years, and I'm filing a lawsuit, and I'm gonna tell them about every stupid thing you've ever done up in this office. All right, all right, okay. You know what? Now you know how I feel. This was a fake firing. So I'm not fired. <sighs> That's it. And, uh, do you have anything to say to me? Oh, yes, I do. You are out of your damn little pea-sized mind. What is wrong with you? Do you have any sense at all? Okay. Do you have any idea how to run an office? Yes. Every day you do something stupider than you did the day before. That's and I think right. there's right. no possible right. way right. he can right. top that. Okay. But what do you do? You find a way, damn it, to top it. You are a professional idiot. Hey, stop it! So let's just say that Dwight has come at you with the throat punch. Now, how would you, Dwight, defend against it? Easy, allow me to demonstrate. I am attacking myself with a throat punch. Here it comes. Block, grasp, wrist as such. And what if he comes at you with the other hand? Because he does have two. Good point. Second throat punch. Absorb the blow. Groin punch. Hip block. Elbow to the gut. Uh-oh. Up to the nose. No, you're not. Ah. Oh. Oh, my god. He's making you look like such a fool. He really is, but not for long. You two are so evenly matched, I don't know how one of you is going to get the upper hand. The important thing to remember, Jim, we always have what is called the element of surprise. Ah! Ah! Come on! Ow! Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! 
You give up? Never! Get out and face me like a man! I am a man! I'm a bigger man than you'll ever be! I would never sleep with another man's fiance! You're not a man! You don't know how to take care of her! All you do is dress fancy and sing. Oh, la, 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 la. What does that mean? You can't even protect her. Protect her from what? Bears, you idiot? When's the last time you saw a damn bear in Scranton? Last year, idiot. Twice. Are your legs broken? No, my right one's falling asleep a little bit. Andy, you all right? Go away, Tuna. I'm winning this. Yeah, back off. This isn't your fight. Oh, how much is this going to cost? Oh, what? Trust fund will take care of that. What did you say? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I see. What? You stupid you're idiot. Me. You're like a bit, you're like a Sasquatch. You live in the woods. Sasquatches are, are the strongest what? animal on the planet. You talking to me? You talking to me? Rachel Pacino.